Hello. Today we'll try to check out the a Java implementation of Langchain, which is called uh, Langchain 4J. Uh, so uh, the the library itself is in this uh, GitHub uh, repo, and uh, we're going to try to implement that with uh, Spring Boot. So I've already set up my project. Our uh, in uh, the dependency that we have included is the uh, long chain uh, starter, and then the other uh, embedding long chain uh, dependency. So I have a key already. Uh, you could also uh, get your key uh, where if you're going to go to platform open API. Uh, and then uh, go to API keys. Uh, you could actually create your key here and then use that one uh, for testing uh, your uh, integration of your Java application to uh, OpenAI. So uh, let's start. I'm just going to create a uh, controller, say long chain controller and then this is a rest controller then let's just create a request mapping uh, which will uh, point us to uh, API okay so let's start with the first uh, model or library that uh, this long chain 4j has so let's just go to post mapping first and then uh, say let's do a chat application so based on the uh, message that we're going to pass uh, we're going to uh, expect a response brother back from uh, OpenAI. So I'm just going to hard code everything here. So we're going to use the chat language model. And this one is using OpenAI chat model uh, with API key. And then of course, because I already have the API key, uh, here I'm just going to add it so here so how do we uh, retrieve the answer from the open AI so it's actually very easy so uh, here we'll just say model dot generate and then the we pass in the message so we're just going to return then the answer okay so of course we could just return directly the answer uh, but for clarity for now uh, i just assign it first to the answer variable and return it so let's try this one run and then run Okay, our service is up, so we'll try to test this one. Uh, the endpoint is API chat. We'll use Postman. So let's start. Uh, say hello. My name is Tony. There. So the OpenAI responded us with uh, this string. Say let's try to ask something like uh, compute the square root of uh, say eight. All right. So our uh, service is. Uh, generating the response 
Now, uh, one issue with this one, since uh, it's just uh, a simple uh, model, is it doesn't uh, actually remember your uh, previous question. You could actually do that with, uh, th there's a library in uh, Langchain 4J, which is a chat memory wherein uh, it will be able to remember the previous uh, query that you have, same as what you do with uh, ChatGPT. So example, hello, my name is Tony. I say John. So let's uh, change the name again. Okay. And then say we'll ask what is my name? Okay, so it's not able to remember the previous uh, a query that or the the statement that you give him or her. Uh, so it it responded with this one. So let's try to uh, use another uh, functionality or library in language uh, lang, lang chain 4 j which is called a uh, conversational chain this library allow us to uh, to have your uh, queries and responses remembered by uh, uh, your application so conversational chain builder let's do this and then from here let's uh, the configure the uh, chat language model so open AI with uh, API key oh, which is actually the same API key that this one Okay, so with this model, uh, we could uh, create, uh, let's create again another, uh, let's name this one Converse and then say Converse. And then stream message. Uh, but here, okay, say response equals to chain execute. Response. Okay, so this, okay, library that the language 4J has, uh, our application will be able to remember uh, the previous queries and uh, answers so let's try this one all right our service is up so let's test this one so instead of the chat endpoint we're going to use the converse endpoint okay so let's uh, start so hello my name is John so remembered earlier with the uh, chat language model, uh, it wasn't able to remember the previous statement that we we have given, and uh, so the it responded with this uh, statement. So let's start. Okay, hello, John. So uh, let's ask him, what is my name? Okay, so if you notice, it was able to remember the previous statement that we uh, have given. Okay, so uh, these are just some of the example of the functionality that Lang4j uh, uh, has. 
then let's try the uh, the sample that uh, they have uh, which is on this uh, github it's something like a customer support uh, agent uh, I've already coded everything here and uh, uh, basically we're just going to use it and uh, try to then test it so let's start here uh, so uh, I need a the new line uh, I just put everything here new line uh, system dot out dot get no get property uh, which is a line separator we're going to use this one later and then uh, we need to auto wire uh, which is in this case our customer support agent this one for agent then agent okay and then uh, let's create first the uh, interaction string say interact with the customer support agent and then the, I, the user message okay so from here uh, we're going to get the response of the agent so agent chat with the user message we'll just return uh, new line and then uh, okay so let's do something like this okay then uh, user Let's display the message given by the user and then let's copy this one and then uh, let's get the agent response. Okay. I think it's okay now then from here uh, let's create an endpoint uh, let's name it chart chat support so public stream chat support then uh, let's again uh, accept the message and then from here uh, we're going to of course string response so interact with the agent and the uh, message then let's just return the response okay so it's a simple booking system uh, something like a chatbot uh, but then uh, I have we have uh, the sample has an hard-coded booking number and then the name and the surname of the uh, person okay so let's restart this one okay so service has uh, started so let's uh, try it uh, so the endpoint is chat support so let's uh, initiate the conversation say hi i forgot my booking okay so you uh, so this is this uh method earlier that we have created where uh, we accept the message of the user and then the response of the uh, agent 
So, hi, I forgot uh, my booking. So, uh, the agent responded with this one. So, it says, can you please provide me with your booking number, customer name, and surname? Uh, say, I'll just give... Uh, So thank you for providing the booking. So it will try to ask also the customer name and the surname. So uh, say Tony and then say start. So, so it didn't, uh, it wasn't able to to get the booking uh, if you remember we put one two three four five but there is no such booking as one two three four five so uh, say let's give him another statement say sorry uh, my booking number is one two three four and my name and surname is okay. oh, sorry uh, let's just go directly here Tony Stark okay so it responded us with thank you uh, so it found the booking and uh, the booking from N2 so uh, let's ask it to cancel please cancel my booking okay so it responded us that uh, it cannot be cancelled so it has a cancellation policy which is seven days prior to the start of the booking all right so this is how the launching 4j uh, library works uh, you could uh, actually uh, test it out look at the example and uh, maybe you could use uh, this library on uh, your application happy coding